Hi, um, come from uh, Calix Nitinapte. Um, we, I'm going to talk to you about today about the uh, technology for corrosion protection of sewer assets using what is called as MHL spray. Um, Calix, uh, we like to do things very easy. Uh, what we do in Calix is we basically make mineral popcorn. That's right, mineral popcorn. Uh, we pre-grind the minerals, uh, put it through that big tube on the top. As it falls down the tube, uh, the mineral literally pops, takes the CO2 out, which can be efficiently captured. And while doing that, the carbonate converts to an oxide. Uh, gets a very high surface area, high reactivity, and that's what basically makes the products that we make after that very, very reactive, very, very good to use. Uh, we are an Austrian company, fully integrated. We mine the product and go right up to the end product. Everything is done in-house, so you've got a good um, uh, control on how things are done. Um, as I said, our first product to the market was MHL, which we're selling in the wastewater industry for corrosion control, odor control, uh, and everything else in, in the water industry. And we have our products in other industries too. Uh, coming back to the problem, um, we are all aware of the issue of concrete corrosion in our uh, sewage infrastructure. Australia has got around 40 billion worth of concrete infrastructure, which is, if left untreated, can go away, corrode away in eight years because of sulfide attack and something needs to be done about it. Same is the problem also in the US, and they are also working on it. Basically, what has come out globally is that magnesium hydroxide liquid, magnesium slurry, is one of the best methods to stop corrosion and stop uh, odor control across the world. Ah, uh, quickly, through the corrosion process, you might have seen this drawing many times before. Water flowing, the sewage flowing through the concrete pipes, H2S gas is generated, which also stinks. The H2S gas gets converted to sulfuric acid by bacteria sitting on the top of the sewer line, which basically corrode your pipeline, which we call as concrete cancer. Um, this has been increasing for the order of magnitude for the last two decades, basically because of a pollution norms by which we stop putting um, acids, uh, basically uh, poisons, down the sewer or uh, industrial waste. So the problem is increasing. Um, the concrete corrosion is con directly proportional actually to the pH of the sewer wall. Uh, you can see in the graph above that when you have a pH of around three on a sewer walls, you're burning your concrete walls at around 2.5 millimeters per year. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a very, very high rate. Your concrete can go down very, very quickly, literally down the drain at that high rate. Um, now, um, in Australia, the people are aware of the SCORE project, which was undertaken by the University of uh, Queensland and, and uh, Newcastle, they did a lot of research on concrete uh, corrosion and basically what came out of that was the H2S that is released and the microbial activity are the main sources of corrosion in our concrete sewers. And checking the pH of the wall is a key indicator to tell you what's exactly happening in the pipelines. Sydney Water has been using this technology now for more than a decade, very happy with it. Um, some uh, things at the bottom there which tells you what's happening in Sydney Water. So basically the sewers are being protected. Calyx comes in, basically we not only have a high pH, but we also have great biocidal properties, which is what makes our product much better. So basically our product goes much longer than other products because of the biocidal properties. There's a graph down there, I don't want to go into the details of that, but if you meet me later, if you're interested in that, we can, we can talk about that graph. That basically tells you the biocidal properties of our product. Um, it's a very simple pro process to use. You don't require any flow division. You don't require man entry into the sewers. The sewer is cleaned using water. After that, uh, it is sprayed with MHL, and that protects your sewer line for three to five years without any problem. So basically, you need to see no man entry, no stoppage of uh, stoppage of sewer. So your sewer remains in action even when this is being done. You never have to stop the flow. Um, business case for this, uh, typically you would use epoxy coating, which people know it's very costly. You would use uh, uh, refurbishing with concrete, also very costly. Commonly used method is plastic relining. MHL is two to seven times cheaper than plastic relining for large diameter sewers. It's not my uh, take, but people who are using MHL spray say that. Uh, other, other good thing is that it has very low upfront cost, which is where the typical problem with the councils. They don't have much of money to put into that. Upfront cost is around three and a half times less than using uh, plastic pipe coating. Um, also, for the savings, basically, because of stoppage of flow is not required, man it is not required. So basically, what you take home from this is that MHS or MHL spray on a concrete sewer is one of the best methods that you can have for protecting your concrete sewers from degradation, which is happening now in your sewers down there. 
no man entry, no stoppage if uh, sewer, so the sewer remain in condition and it is a preventative maintenance and not you don't have to wait till your sewers have broken down. So these are the basic things that you need to understand in this. Thank you very much.